How you doing? My name is Joseph Charles Cullen, the new face of art. Our view, modern art. Um, let's just do it. Uh, let's just do it. Two seconds. That took. It's not as bright as I wanted it, but there's nothing I can do, but I can't hit it. Can't hit that again because what'll happen is it'll, it'll smear. So. It's not perfect. What, what else? What's perfect in the world? Nothing is perfect in this world. Except a Joseph Charles Cole view modern art painting. Um... Hope for the best. Oh, I got a fair amount of ink out of that one. It's still not totally straight. when I drop things. Still not. Okay, this one's called Stockbroker. Uh, did I move it up on that side? I don't know. I don't know what it did. Well, that's it. Not much I can do. It's off a little bit. It's pretty bright. One in the middle. Oh, I wish I could just get them straight. But doesn't matter. Stockbroker. Uh, this is basically for sale. So this is number 92 and upload 148. 92, upload 148. 148. 148 videos on this channel. note in the future the May Mayweather one is not signed uh, I wonder if I should sign it on here it's totally unsigned I just noticed that just looking at it we'll just leave it for now see what happens maybe I might another Mayweather will come up in the future but it's unsigned. But it's a real Joseph Charles call. It's just unsigned. This one, kind of was hoping, because I kind of really like this the military type thing. I was kind of hoping it would work out. But it just didn't. This one in total hasn't didn't work out at all. But 
but it's still Joseph Charles Cohn. So, whatever happens, it happens. It's called stockbroker. Stockbroker is probably tough anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, paintings are one dollar a minute forever guys one dollar a minute it's basically it one dollar a minute forever I'm gonna keep this one short um, getting close to 100 not far away and then we're done 101 will be done live on a stage at an auction somewhere so there'll be 100 101 will be live on a stage in an auction somewhere it'll be a special size of it'll probably be like a 15 or inch canvas or something uh it's turned out good but unfortunately it's crooked I have like four or five cro crooked ones I have up on my wall right here just to see. You know what? There's only so many. Some are good. Some are, you know, some are not perfect. And in the world, there's a lot of people that ain't perfect. So. I wish I could monetize. I don't have 4,000 hours in one year in this channel to monetize this channel, but I wish I could so I could put ads and stuff to run on these, but you'll have to take like a couple viral, a couple people to come in and just say, look at this guy making paintings with his face and to get those 4,000 hours. Could happen. Could happen be good content for somebody you know if somebody wants content for their own channel so you look at this crazy guy making paintings with his face and charging a dollar a minute where each painting is 500,000 a year you know it is kind of crazy I know I get it all the time but it's new it's not going away no matter how much you dispute in the art world I can do whatever the hell I want and it doesn't matter if you could dispute this all you want and think that that no it's it'll never go for half a million a painting but whether you think it's right or wrong whether you think that whatever you think the fact is tomorrow it's a thousand four forty you could dispute the fact of that tomorrow and the day after it's another one thousand four forty added on to the price and another 1440 the day after that and say a year from now and if you dispute the price it's it's a half a million three years from now all of them could be sold and this could be the very last one and you the stockbroker you the multimillionaire, could have had this years ago technically if you know what I'm talking about for technically cheap for forty thousand dollars but no you didn't think you know you saw something unique and now it's probably you know you're paying even if you bought for this for 2.5 million in the future and and I say that with straight face three million five million ten million it doesn't matter 
you don't lose your money because the value is still in the painting. It's it's something done first in the world. Something done that nobody's ever thought about in the world. It's done. The pricing's done in a way nobody's thought about in the world. So this painting, crooked center, but it looks bright. Is unique. And it's very, very expensive. All the art in the world, no disrespect to any artists out there, but if you're watching this, no disrespect for you, to whoever you are, all your art is piled up over there with set prices. My art, with everybody that owns my art, is over there with a dollar a minute club. No matter what anybody says, this painting's still going up a dollar a minute. Eleven dollars as of now in real time. I've took a lot of flack, a lot of hate, a lot of people laughing in my face. But this is real guys this is real you've seen it may you have seen it being made live right here this painting's real this painting's a dollar a minute forever end of story this painting is real this painting is on your wall right now if you took a chance and got it right now I'm the only one in this moment in time that's enjoying it right now I'm the only one enjoying this right at this second when it's wet, it's fresh, it was just born, just made right now. I'm a very lucky guy. Because I'm the only one that sees these, these when they're second that it's done, fresh. These are like my children. Each one is born. And every single piece of art on my channel, you watched it being done. Every piece of art on that I have in existence is going to be on this channel, including my stuff that was done 30 years ago. You guys want to see? If you watch this to the end, I'm going to show you a little secret. Here's the secret. This right here, you've just seen the back of it. This is original Joseph Charles Collin. This was done 30 years ago with about five other paintings and all the other ones are about this is just one end of one where you're all about this big. And this was done in 1987, 30 years ago. And at a dollar a minute, 30 years ago, this would be 15 million dollars and I really think I'll have these up on its own video and you could see this tape how old it is oh that's actually 
this is all it's all it's dirty it's been sitting around for years uh, actually I wonder if I have the photos just a second before I show you that 30 year old painting this is another 30 year old painting owned by a school teacher from WP Wagner 30 years ago Can you see that real good This was my style. I made everything in glass in those days. This painting, if it exists out there still, unbroken. I did all my stuff on glass. Because my theory was it would be more expensive in the future if, the, you know, if I did a hundred of them. And a lot of them broke over the years. Then, you know, it makes the one surviving more valuable and this is one of my f this is from another teacher that owns this painting from WP Wagner from uh, 30 years ago now each of these ones are you're gonna see on its own video after this series and they're gonna be a dollar a minute from 30 years ago so the upload date, you're going to add 30 years onto the upload date. So each one of these paintings, as far as I'm concerned, is $15 million. Seriously. All my art is a dollar a minute. doesn't matter how long, long ago. Now this is me. 30 years ago so I'm not just an artist that just started in the last couple of years I've been I have been an artist for 30 over 30 years now this is the only surviving oil painting the very first one that you I only picture have is that corner can you see that You'll see a, uh, it'll have its own video. Now that painting, and you're gonna hear it first right here. That painting, that purplish painting, abstract oil, is from 1987, and that is one dollar per second firm, not by the minute, because it's the only oil painting I ever did in my life. And that is one dollar per second forever, which in 32 years as of now is a billion dollars. So this video of the stockbroker, I'm telling you right now, I, as far as I'm concerned, have the billion dollar painting. Unfortunately, I don't own that. Well, I don't have it. Somebody owns that. Somebody has that painting. I don't have that painting. Uh, Steve and Donna Pasquin, wherever they live in the world, their daughter is Jessie, and I can't remember the youngest daughter. It was Jessie. Steve and Donna Pasquin. Donna Needham and Steve Pasquin own that painting. They literally could be sitting on a billion dollars. The most expensive painting on the planet. If people take my pricing seriously. And they've had this painting for 30 some years. And I will see that painting hopefully one day. If whoever owns that painting I can authenticate it simply because I know what's on the bottom of that painting I know what's on the bottom as you see the lines there's there's three lines on the top 
There's three lines, but I know what's at the bottom of the painting. If you own this painting, it's a dollar a second. That is not a dollar a minute. That's the only oil painting of Joseph Charles Collin in existence. Done when I was a young man. Abstract. So, you could be watching history right now. Because you don't know where this is all going. You could be watching history. One dollar per second. That piece of art. I don't, get, I don't know, maybe I'll just double show it. Uh, there we go. I don't know, maybe that'll work. See that? Right there. That is the most expensive painting on the planet at a Joseph Church called the dollar per minute, if you could see that. That right there. It's a mystery because that's all I have. I've had this picture. It's a real picture. For many years. 30 years. This one too. This one, somebody owns that somewhere in the world. I don't know where the late the teacher, I don't even remember her name. I think she won it because of these pillows up here. So, the search is on for the billion dollar painting. The search is on. So hopefully you can see that better. I don't know. Is it? I can't tell if it's if you can even see it. Hopefully you can see it. Now, the thirty-year painting here. Thirty years. Now you can tell. Look how old this tape is. This is. A 30 year old paint, glass painting with Joseph Charles Cole. Very old. Safe in the corner behind some stuff so it won't break. And another original one I know uh, a friend of mine named Dean owns original from 30 years. He just told me literally on Facebook. So just looking at your art and I have a, a original of yours from 30 years ago. So that was my style. Does that look 80s? Really 80s. That was my... And that was back when snowboarding first started by the way. This, this is 1987. I don't even have any... We used to... Uh, ones you see have my name scratched Chuck Collin in the corner this one this one was kind of for me I think I believe this was my friend Darcy's and he gave it back to me many many years ago if I remember I can't remember it's a long time and my thing was this is a different planet snowboarding was already in the planet and sky was that color snow was always that color so 80s 30 years old 30 years old older than 87 it's 32 years old in 1987 15 million so i have to upload this pretty damn soon i'm claiming it 15 million. I have 15 million at dollar a minute since 1987. Right here. Gotta be super careful for it with this. Super careful. God, that looks good. So, 
that looks so good. I'm gonna have to, I have to get this framed. I have to get it framed. But you could be seeing history, guys. That's the only oil painting I ever did and ever will do. It might be acrylic. I can't remember if it was oil or acrylic. I think it was oil, I'm quite sure. Man, I look young there, holy crap. <laughs> I was probably 20, what, 20 years old there, I think. So there you go guys, on a stockbroker, that's proof of my uh, artist. And the teachers who own, or whoever owns those paintings, they're going to have a shock in the future. Even if these paintings start selling like crazy, and the ones I have personally go for a lot of money, trust me. Those teachers, they'll probably come forward with it and I'll make them offer they can't refuse. Thank you so much for watching, guys. In real time, this is $26.27. Throw this one up, $26. And you could be looking at the billion dollar painting that everybody in the art world And it is 30, 1987, it is, and I believe I have the date, 1987, Paint It in the Corner, Chuck Collin, I'm quite sure of it, uh, but I don't know, I haven't seen that in 30 some years, 32 years, I haven't seen that painting. people take dollar a second you're looking at the billion dollar painting too crazy this ever sells for a dollar per second since 1987 at Joseph Trust Collin because that's what I'm known for then and you see that young man that's me now that picture is proof that picture is proof that is me this is a picture not a doctored picture that painting exists out there somewhere hopefully Steve and Donna never just got rid of it or anything and, and then all of a sudden if that ever hits the news whoever owns it that's a unique painting it's an abstract but there's more to the bottom so it's a story to be yet to be finished thank you so much for watching guys Thank you for thank you for taking your time and watching a little possibility of history. And when you see that uploaded, this picture, I'm going to get a good scan done, a high definition scan of that. When this is uploaded on this channel, it's going to be under the billion dollar painting dollar per second not a minute the first oil I can't remember if it's acrylic or oil it's been so long I'm quite sure that's oil and actually that's not the only one I just that's not the only one they own they own uh, like a I do remember them now because they have that framed 
Steve and Donna Pasquin need him. I don't know if they ever got married, but they were unmarried at the time. And I remember there was a three panel about this big. There's three of them, or there was two, I can't remember. And they got it, and they had that framed. And I remember them telling me, Chuck, you have to sign these. They spent the money to frame them as I was living in the, actually this used to be their house. That was their house. That, I was just a kid renting the basement suite and I gave them that painting and the other painting. I can't remember, I think I just gave it to them or something. And they went and spent the money and got it framed and everything. And I remember them saying, Chuck, you have to sign this. and. You can't give us a art unsigned, and I remember, and I remember, I don't like signing things on the front. That's why you see them always in the back. But that one, they told me. Now it's a good thing. They told me to. They made me sign it, and I remember signing that and signing the other one. I do remember now. I know that's a hundred percent signed by Chuck Collins. Not just a trust calling, Chuck Colin 1L. That's the story. Here's a guy in war paint that you're watching this video right now that quite possibly made the billion dollar painting. And the people who own it can confirm it. Because I made that W.P. Wagner commercial art by Mrs. Whole Black right on her class. That is a billion dollar painting. That's me 32 years ago. That's proof. I'm holding the billion dollar painting in that picture. That's a story. That is a story. How the hell did I keep these pictures for 30 years? Wow. Time is my friend, time and price is my friend and your friend too. Thanks for watching.